Hey guys, this is Tara with Kitten Sweets and Tarot, and today I'm doing a review of Granny's Postcards Lenormand, and uh, this was sent to me by uh, Pentagram Publishing. Uh, so I have their card here, and they gave me a choice of any of their tarot or oracle decks for me to choose from, and I love to read uh, Lenormand, and those cards just look so adorable, so I made sure to use them first and, you know, get a good feel for them so I can give you guys a great review. Okay, so again, uh, Pentagram Publishing. Um, I think they're just kind of starting out, so they have a, a good variety, but they're adding more and more um, tarot cards and oracle cards, um, plus other things such as like uh, pouches and you know uh, tarot pouches and things like that, um, as well as guidebooks and everything to um, their shops. So definitely check them out, uh, Pentagram Dot Shop, um, and there we are. There you can find them on Facebook and all that jive. So when I got this deck, um, the return address says it, it was coming um, all the way from the Ukraine. So I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so let's get into this Granny's Postcards Lenormand and let's take a look at this cutesy little box. <laughs> um, I have a thing for like old postcards and like vintage cards and things like that. And my, um, my Nana used to um, keep all the cards that she got when she was younger so like cards from like the 20s and 30s and I always love the pictures so this reminds me of that um, and you got a little bit of um, a description here okay so let's take a look inside and I like the, the little like postage look there okay so the little guidebook it appears that they put the wrong guidebook in the box so this is not the elementary Lenormand this is granny's postcards however the upside is uh, that when it comes to Lenormand the uh, the meanings are exactly the same you know um, Lenormand is very structured um, so if you needed a guidebook you could still use this one even though it's for the wrong deck um, because uh, just like other structured systems, you know, like uh, the Rider Waite Smith or Marseille and, you know, other systems, the, the meanings don't vary much. But um, depending on the artist's artwork, you know, they might include some things. However, with Lenormand, it's not like that. You know, um, it's not meant to be uh, the picture could mean this or this. It's just that's what the card means. <laughs> you know, so. Um, and they have it in a couple you know languages here so you could still use the guidebook you know if you were iffy about um, oh what's the meaning of card number 34 or what does the writer mean or you know what does the letter mean um, something like that so let's take out the cards here actually I'm put these down here and you can see they have a pretty glossy finish um, so at first they stuck together, but once I got to shuffling them and, you know, really working with them, um, they didn't stick anymore. So, and this only took me like two tries. So two tries of shuffling and they were no longer sticky. And what's cool is since it's really warm here, I'm by the pool quite a bit. So in case there's any sort of little splash, I know that my cards aren't going to get affected really because they have that nice coating on them am I gonna leave water on there like of course not like heck no <laughs> but I'm saying if they get splashed you can just wipe it off right away and and your cards will be fine um, it does have a really nice cardstock so it's flexible but it's also pretty thick um, almost on the plasticky side um, but great for riffle shuffling side shuffling you know you name it I don't know you some people like to do the like wash shuffle you know <laughs> uh, wax on wax off but yeah so great cardstock no complaints here on the back you'll see that it has the wax seal as if this was an envelope and it's got the nice tea stain to it and it appears to have um, just because of the artwork it makes it look like it has a linen finish when really it's it's smooth it's a smooth cardstock well, that's pretty cool huh all right so the cards themselves um oh i forgot to bring uh, another deck out here for comparison but definitely larger than normal playing cards um so just how i remember playing cards your normal playing card would be up here somewhere as being as tall as it would be so it's about this much bigger 
and uh, let's see my playing cards right about here so it's about this much wider okay so a little bit bigger a little bit wider um, it's shorter than a tarot deck is high and it's wider than a tarot deck is in length or sorry width so all right hopefully that helps I don't have incredibly large hands I'm five foot eight but you know I can't palm basketballs I'm just saying <laughs> all right let's take a look at these images okay, so as you can see these are definitely some vintage like postcard um, or Hallmark card images um, but just uh, connecting those images to uh, Lenormand cards Oh, we got a little ant friend helping us out and what's nice too is they also have uh, the playing card association here just like uh, Lenormand I mean um playing cards and you know OG Lenormand that's what I'm trying to say I do like the um, kind of almost like torn tea stained paper down at the bottom so that they could put the um, name of the card which is pretty neat but remember with Lenormand cards, you basically could just take postcards and put, you know, like the word bear on there, you know, and you can put maybe this um, association, the Ten of Clubs, but also card number 15. Um, but I am a very visual person. <laughs> you know, I need to see things. So yes, you know, I, I'm very aware that, um, you know, the meanings are very rigid in the Lenormand, but I like having different decks to choose from you know because we all get in different moods and the people that we're reading for you know we kind of have to or at least I do I check up on their energy and see what kind of deck they might also connect with because I want them to connect with my decks um, because I feel that they connect better with the readings too you know if somebody's put off by the imagery they're probably not listening to a word I say <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's really good uh, quality. Let me just get in here with like this image. So you could see that it, it's literally like taken from a postcard where it's, or, you know, it was originally like a painting. They put it on a card. It's got that depth and texture to it, which makes it almost look like the card itself has depth and texture, which I think is pretty cool. Well, you know, I'm a sucker for things antique, vintage, you know. I have two very interesting sides of my family. One of my sides of my family, they're pretty old. They're like a couple decades older than the other side of the family. So um, I grew up with like, you know, one side's listening to, you know, um, the platters or the temptations or sometimes... Uh, the big bands of the 40s and you know I got the other side listening to like Black Sabbath and Led Zeppelin and <laughs> you know things like that so I have a nostalgia for things like this very very cool and I like that there's a color consistency too you know even though these are different images different artists um, it's still got that nice muted, tea stained um, colors to it, soft colors. Even this guy. That moon, though, I must say, I like that moon. If only there were snow right now. <laughs> and the garden is the last one. Okay, so um, if you don't know, at the end of my reviews, I always do a little reading. It's a little general reading, but hopefully it hits home with you. Um, and if it does, fantastic. If it doesn't, then I hope you enjoyed this review, taking a look at these beautiful images um, from Granny's postcards, Len Armand, again, sent to me by Pentagram Publishing. Um, all right, so let's do a little reading. Something that somebody who's watching, people that are watching need to know. So we have snake. Whoop. And for me, I shuffle between 
putting the cards down. Some people are just like boom, boom, boom. You know, everybody does their own thing. I'm just so you know. Okay. Let's put these down. All right. So we have the snake, we have the fox, and we have the house. Ooh. So what I'm getting here, those of you that are buying, selling their home, transferring the title, whatever it may be, um, I do get that this is, you know, actual residence. Um, just be aware of what you guys are reading, you know, in your contract, what it is that you guys are signing, um, because I am feeling that whoever is um, in charge of those documents, um, of course, is going to make sure that they benefit from the sale or transfer uh, or the rental, whatever it may be, um, they're making sure that they're benefiting from that. So just make sure that you read through um, some of that crafty writing, you know, that they may have there, that lawyer speak that sometimes uh, baffles, uh, you know, us laymen over here. So um, yeah, just a, just a little message about that. Those of you, again, um, buying, selling, or anything to do with properties, um, again, whoever is in charge of writing up those documents is going to make sure that they get a nice, healthy share of that. Uh, so just make sure that, um, you know, you look deeply into it. So uh, read carefully, have a second pair of eyes or third, or hey, if you got any lawyer friends, <laughs> have them help you read it. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this message. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'm really like genuinely loving this deck. Um, so when people um, want to send me decks, I don't always uh, accept it. So I'm not ac accepting decks all willy nilly. I have to make sure that at least looking through some of the images online that I do connect with them um, so that when I, I receive it, you know, I want to, you know, um, be able to connect with that deck. I want to be able to actually use it and add it to my collection. And, you know, I want to tell you guys about it, about how, about how you know, good it is. So um, I did genuinely enjoy it. Um, I will continue to use it. So maybe um, look for this deck in the future when I'm doing my <laughs> some of my readings that I do for you guys. Um, and when I do my Lenormand readings um, through my website, those of you that book a reading with me, if you want me to use this deck, like just let me know. I'd be more than happy to bust it out. So again, uh, thank you Pentagram Publishing for sending this deck to me. It's beautiful. Um, I mean, my only critique is that the wrong guidebook is in here, but um, I don't need the guidebook. But you know, anybody else who might need it, um, they can still work with the deck though because the meanings are the same so anyway I hope you guys dug this let me know your thoughts let me know if you have this and uh, yeah if you dug the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding 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 notification bell for more videos just like this p.s. I am loving my little amethyst spirit quartz over here she's not for sale but you know she came out to hang out in the video <laughs> hey if you want to book a reading with me head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com like i said if you want me to use this deck in your len armand reading i'd be more than happy and not only do i have readings there um, but i have my room and body sprays my beauty salves uh, my healing salves that i create by hand uh, using um, herbs that i've grown especially my roses with my goddess of the rose beauty salve um, and you're if you're looking for more witchy items you might want to check out desert cauldron it's all one word it's on etsy um, or check us out on Instagram at desert.cauldron uh, because sometimes we do free one card readings over there. Uh, we post items that aren't necessarily in our Etsy shop. So you get first crack at it on Instagram. Uh, but in our Etsy shop, we have uh, handmade one-of-a-kind items, either made by local artisans or us, um, or artisans from afar. Um, but yeah, we made sure that they're one-of-a-kind one of items for your unique one-of-a-kind practice. So uh, lots of different unique tools. Um, not everybody's practice is the same, so we made sure uh, to add a lot of different items there. So definitely check us out. And um, yeah, all my other information is down below for Patreon if you're interested. I have a lot of different goodies for my different tiers. Um, just did a moon water live chat, how to utilize moon water, all the different ways. Um, and I have my newsletter that actually just went out a couple days ago. I only hit your inbox once a month. So if you want to hit up and uh, sign up for my newsletter, it's a witchy newsletter. I have all different kinds of goodies, like the herbs that I'm using, like videos that I'm watching, music I'm listening to, things like that. So um, you can sign up for that down below. And that's it from me, spiritual homies. I will catch you later, all right? Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.